And wouldn't it be something if we could power our cars, our boats, even our houses with salt water? That would make a darn good story, don't you think? Well, I've come out to Florida's West Coast to see if it could be a reality. When I visited John Kansas earlier this year, I wanted to talk about his work trying to find a cure for cancer. But before we got down to business, he wanted to show me something else that his machine can do. I scooped up some salt water from the canal behind his home and brought it into his garage, where his radio frequency machine sits. So I'm just going to take this water. How, how much do you want me to pour in? All the way up. All the way up to the top. Okay. He grabbed a paper towel and put it in the test tube to act like a candle wick. So all that's in this test tube right now is the salt water I just took from your backyard right. and a paper towel. Paper towel. He put the test tube in the machine, then turned it on. You got it? Pretty neat, huh? The paper towel amazingly didn't burn. Kansas says in these experiments the flame reaches a temperature around 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit. You see the bubbles boiling at the top of the water as it comes down. He performed the same experiment two more times without the paper towel to show that the salt water can burn without anything else in the test tube. The white there, see the steam coming out? And Kansas has shown the experiment to a handful of scientists around the country who claim they're baffled at watching salt water ignite. A chemist told Kansas that the energy released is in fact hydrogen, that the heat breaks down the hydrogen-oxygen bond in the water. You could then take plain salt water out of the sea and put it in containers and produce a violent flame that could heat generators that, make, that do make electricity or provide other uh, forms of energy. May 16th, 2007. Engineers working with Kansas and Erie, Pennsylvania are trying to harness the energy. They've built an engine that, when placed on top of the flame, chugged along for two minutes. But Kansas admits all this excitement was a stroke of luck. Someone who witnessed his work on the cancer front asked him if perhaps the machine could be used for desalinization. This was just an experiment to try to see whether I could heat salt water. Instead of getting heat, I got fire. So could this become an alternative source to creating power? If I would be bold enough, I would probably guess that uh, you can power an automobile with this eventually.